Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun Field tutorial with your host Boomer. I want to say thank you to everybody who recently answered the poll that was on my Discord channel. I'd asked the question, should we continue to do tutorials the way we've been doing it? Should we put an entire add-on in one video or should we break an add-on up into multiple pieces? And about 95% of you said, let's do a whole add-on but break it up into multiple pieces. So that's what we're starting with. Today, we're going to start with light expansion. We want to dive right in. First thing we're going to talk about today is the glass cutter. Now, glass cutter does need to be powered. And for every block of glass you break, you're going to use half a jewel. So we can just come right in here. This is great. If you need to remove a large section of glass, this will go really quick. Uh, very nice. Now, it does say uh, left click as quickly, right click as slowly. Honestly, I'm not seeing much of a difference at all. Uh, maybe there is a very tiny difference, but I haven't noticed it yet. All right, let's talk about the next one, the mining drill. The mining drill is designed to break stone and its variants. Now, we're going to see which types of stone. I don't believe it's going to break a number of the 117 or the 118 stone variants, but that the diamond drill will. So, again, we are charged, and just like the glass cutter, it's a half a jewel per stone that you block. Mine up. So stone, andesite, yes. Diorite, no. Uh -oh. Blackstone, no. Deep slate, no. Tough, no. Calcite, no. Now, these tools were created long before 117 and 118 rolled. So that may or may not be why they're not included. And again, not all those are technically considered stone variants. Let's look at a diamond drill. It must also be charged. But we'll just give that a quick charge. Now, it's going to be 1.5 joule per block, regardless of what the block is. So if you're doing a ton of mining, and it's stone stuff, you're going to want to be on the mining drill. If you're with obsidian, which we should actually probably put some down here, right? Let's put down some obsidian just when we get to the end here so we know for sure. The diamond drill is mainly meant for those harder blocks or the ones that the mining drill can't break. So again, we can do through stone, andesite, diorite, blackstone, deep slate, tough, calcite, and obsidian. So it cleared through all of those. So that's great to know. So if you are uh, looking to mine and the newer blocks or the tougher blocks quickly, the diamond drill is your tool. Let's move on to the nano blade. Now we're going to grab a second one here. The nano blade is light expansion sword. Now, we have been able to confirm that you can not only enchant it, but it actually does give additional power uh, to the user. And here's how we can tell. We're going to use the Slime Fun Warfare Dummy. And let me make sure this one's charged. All right, so if I normally hit it just like this, it's not on. I didn't turn a blade on. It's a diamond sword. It gave me seven half hearts of damage. If we turn it on, now it's 14, so just by powering it makes it twice as strong as a normal vanilla diamond sword. Now if we switch over to the nano blade that does have sharpness 5 on it, we're up to 17 hearts, half hearts of damage. Now if I turn it off, only 3. Isn't that weird? I have sharpness 5 on here, but it's yielding less damage with sharpness 5 then the nano blade by itself turned off. So that might be something that needs to be looked into. But we do know when it's powered on, we're gaining an extra three half hearts because of the sharpness five. All right, let's look at the electric chest plate. Okay, we can confirm that you can also enchant it and protection will yield a lower rate of power loss. So just for time saving, we're going to enchant this with protection four. Why did I use slime five? Uh, okay. So now what we're going to do with this one, we've got to charge both, right? Yeah, let's get them charged. Okay, we're going to put the rugger one on. Let's make it night. And let's summon in a skeleton. Whoops. I'm set 14,000. All right, let's see what happens here. 
Okay, so we took about 77 joule loss on there. It was like or 67, excuse me. So you can see the skeleton is doing some damage to the chest plate. It's removing its power. Yeah, about 77 per uh, hit. Let's switch over to the protection with this chest plate. So the first one by itself was approximately 77. This one was only 65. So we are seeing less damage on the chest plate here. Two hits, we lost 112, three, 177. So we are seeing less damage being dealt by having protection four on the electric chest plate. So can you imagine if you've got protection 20 and you're able to charge this thing as you're going in PvP or fighting mobs, theoretically, you may never take damage. All right, let's make it back to daytime here. We'll put the good, the good one back in. All right, so now let's talk about the solar helmets. Wow, that was very rude of somebody, whoever did that. Okay, as far as charging, 7774. So let's start with the advanced solar helmet. <clears throat> Oops, apparently we just took another hit. There must be a skeleton who survived. Okay, so we're going up one jewel every, it's approximately nine seconds. Not a great way to recharge. What about the carbonado? Surely a carbonado is going to give you more, right? So again, about every nine seconds, you're going to see an increase of, hit it for me, two joules. So it's double. Now we do have to make our progression through these to get to the higher ones. All right, energized solar helmet. Okay, that one was three. Now it did appear faster, probably just because of when I pulled uh, the helmet off of me. So don't think that it went any faster because it actually didn't. Hybrid solar helmet. Now this one should actually be the fifth one in a series, but we'll take a look at it here real quick. So from 7716 up to 7726. So this one really should be over here. That one's going up 10. The super advanced. It sounds kind of fun and, and special, but actually you're going to find out that it only gives you back five joules on every charge. So this should go to 7731. Yep. All right. And then let's grab the ultimate. Wow, where'd my helmet go? Huh. How's that for funny? I right clicked it on a hay bale and it ended up back on my head. Ultimate solar helmet, the fastest charge of the helmets. This one's going to provide 20 joules uh, for every charge. So if I'm out running around with the electric chest plate trying to avoid damage, this is from the light expansion option, the best option to continuously recharge this if you're outdoors. Now, just like everything at solar, if you're underground, don't expect it to work. Solar requires sun. So we're wrapping this up today, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this and your feedback to change how we do it. We're going to have two more episodes for light expansion. Uh, the second one, we're going to talk about power production. And then the final episode of light expansion will include machines and other tools that we have not previously covered. So as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget, when you're playing Slime Fun, you got to go Boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.